Now, everyone's talking about the big crypto crash that we're all witnessing right now. It's gloom and doom out there, and this is primarily because it is an outlier, with SPY making all-time highs, NASDAQ making all-time highs, and growth assets like NVIDIA also at all-time highs. In fact, NVIDIA has been on an absolute tear. Even though Bitcoin has the rightful title of the Apex asset, considering it's done a good 100 million percent over the course of its existence, NVIDIA has been outperforming Bitcoin drastically since 2023, while Bitcoin is only up a good 237% over the past two years, NVIDIA is up a good 761%. But what if I told you that this price gap between Bitcoin and Nvidia is going to start closing and anyone looking to sell Bitcoin right here is jumping the gun. Now to drive that point in, I've gone ahead and pulled up Bitcoin's price action relative to Nvidia's price action. If, if you look towards the top left hand side corner of my screen, you can see that I've pulled up Bitcoin's chart slash Nvidia. And the first thing you can observe on this chart is that they actually trend really, really well against each other. You can see very clear uptrends, clear downtrends, clear uptrends trends clear downtrends. In fact, since March of 2021, Bitcoin has actually been in a downtrend against Nvidia. However, if you go ahead and employ just very, very simple technical analysis on this, just through support and resistances, you'll find that Bitcoin versus Nvidia is actually heading right into support. But this is no ordinary support. The last time Bitcoin was at this region of support, it actually reversed against Nvidia. We saw a reversal right here. Now this reversal actually happened on Jan of 2017, where Bitcoin started to outperform Nvidia in earnest for a good part of one year. Now for Bitcoin to actually flip Nvidia as far as gains are concerned, there are only two scenarios where this actually happens. And here are the two scenarios. Scenario number one, Bitcoin rallies harder than Nvidia, okay? Or scenario number two, Nvidia dumps harder than Bitcoin. If I really have to go about assessing probabilities of either one of these scenarios playing out, I'm saying scenario number one has a higher probability of playing out. That is primarily owing to the fact that Nvidia is still very much in its uptrend and not looking to relent anytime soon. And even if we come all the way down to the bottom of the current range of oscillation on Nvidia, for those of you on the numbers on it, please go ahead and take note of it. The current zone of oscillation comes in from 140 to 104. Even if price makes its way down to 104, I'm saying this is likely going to be a buy the dip opportunity than a sell event. As 104 lines up with our key trend indicator right here, which is the Mango Dynamic indicator, so far every visit of the Ma Mango Dynamic support was picked up by the bulls. We saw buyers step in on every single instance of price getting down to that range. So once again, I'll be looking towards that. Now here's the thing, Nvidia getting down to 104 does not break that trend. This still remains bullish. And this could very well be the turning point where Bitcoin actually flips Nvidia on the chart. If I now take you on over to Bitcoin's chart, while Nvidia has some room to cover all the way down to support, Bitcoin right now is sitting at critical support. If there is a bounce coming in, it comes in right here. And here's what I'm looking at. If I just zoom out of this chart, this is the monthly time frame on Bitcoin, and I have price action relative to the 10 simple moving average, which is the red line running right through. So far, if there's one cyclical indicator that you do not want to fight against, it is the monthly 10 simple moving average. Every single instance where Bitcoin has broken the monthly 10 simple moving average, that has often marked bear market territory for Bitcoin on every single instance. Once in 2014, 2018, the COVID dump on 2020, as well as this most recent bear market in 2022. Now, once again, we're sitting smack on that monthly 10 SMA support. It's only when we really start breaking monthly 10 SMA support can we say that, okay, this is bear market territory. But so far, every test of the monthly 10 simple moving average has been a buy the dip opportunity. It's, it is that level that historically it's been very, very, very easy to either manage your trades on or your long-term positions on the monthly 10 simple moving average. So if there's any juncture where Bitcoin actually reverses against Nvidia, it's going to be right here in this instance. And you can see that the Bitcoin Nvidia chart is giving us a very, very similar signal right here as the Bitcoin Nvidia chart heads further down into support, which historically has been the reversal zone. Now I will be keeping a very, very close eye out on this pairing. And if you want to follow along with the story, make sure you hit the sub and the bell icon. And if you enjoy these kind of comparison videos between growth assets like Bitcoin and Nvidia, well, let me know by hitting the like button. That way I can push out more content just like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video with this. Trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys.